We couldn't think about the future while Iris was in hospital, obviously, at all. It was just living day to day. Uh, we couldn't make any plans. Um, life was completely on hold. There's not a lot of awareness about it, and I do wish there was more awareness about it um, because it's definitely something that everyone should know about. I work as an operating theatre technician and I just got a job actually as a medical device rep as well. It's just an experience that, that I've been through and it's it shaped my life. I want to be a nurse and go into midwifery. Paramedic zookeeper. Basketball player. Basketball player. What about an accountant? What's that? What's that? That's a good answer. I work as a nurse today because of that experience and I, I want to I help and I want to give back. It has been the best thing that ever happened to me. The quality of life that I have now is the best quality of life I've ever had. Um, there's no comparison, like hands down. I don't um, think about her as being a sick kid really anymore. Um, so yeah, we make plans for Christmas, we make plans for next year. Um, we think about when she'll start school and um, yeah, and it, it feels like we can make plans like a normal family now. I want to take on the responsibility of, of raising a family and, and living a normal life. I don't want to feel like I've taken on too much risk by, by doing that. So now she is a perfectly healthy, normal girl. Uh, she's three and a half years old and she's um, off all her heart medication. Things that excite me about the future are watching the kids being able to grow up because they've been, well especially Millie has been given the chance to be able to grow up. I've done the genetic, genetic testing so I know the odds of, of having children with the same condition, with having heart failure. We've talked about going through, uh, going through IVF, and we've made progress through that so far. And and when we're ready, we'll we'll have we'll have kids, and we'll have healthy kids. Things that worry me about the future again, <laughs> everything, <laughs> all the things that make me excited also, and the things that make me scared because, <laughs> um, because we just don't know what's going to happen. It's definitely important, especially for Elijah. He is currently in that area of, we don't know if he will go into heart failure or not, but it's something that we have to watch and wait for every day. And if there is more research into what he's going through, then hopefully that means that he will have a better childhood. Knowing now that there is much better transition is really promising. Um, and I guess, you know, on top with that, there's obviously advancements in, you know, with the younger kids as well. That's a good, a good sign, good sign for Lockie. I was lucky enough to, to have the kind of technologies to, like I was on a, on a VAD, so a ventricular assist device that, that helped uh, function as a, a mechanical heart uh, while my heart like wasn't working. And so like, it's, yeah, it's pretty exciting to see What's what's going to be coming in the next in the next ten years or so? Uh, the amount of research is definitely encouraging. It's always good to know that there are people working on things that will help the lives of people like my kids and other kids around the country. The Murdoch Children's Research Institute is is doing um, some amazing work. I've seen some of the stuff that they're doing with disease modelling with with stem cells and. There's been a lot of um, advancement in the technology so far for, for hearts and heart transplantation and, and drug therapies. I think it's amazing the research that's being done at the moment, particularly kind of the stem cell research that's, um, that's being conducted. We um, harvested some of Iris's stem cells as part of her um, open heart surgery with the hope that if she did need a heart transplant that potentially in her lifetime she might be able to have a heart made of her own, her own cells. So basically, stem cells are amazing to start off with. They can basically turn into anything. We we'll always need uh, MCRI to, to be able to support us. We can't do this alone. It's virtually impossible for us to, un to understand or to be able to go it alone. So MCRI 
allows us to be able to do that. You know, um, the funding that goes behind it, you can't do anything without funding. Um, and to to be able to have um, these children that are coming down, you know, to for them to understand what their lives are going through as well. The research work that MCRI is doing is so important for both like the future of our children and all the generations to come because it could save lives. But like it's really cool to be able to know that something there is like stem cells and grafts, like that could actually be the cure to heart disease and heart failure one day.